what's the most you would pay for a cup of coffee? Probably like four fifty, dollars at least $5. $6. So when we found out the most expensive coffee in the world at more than $800 a pound is here in San Francisco, we had to try it out for ourselves. San Francisco is one of those places where people uh, really appreciate, you know, fine stuff. If that's the case, Clatch Coffee's latest offering is the finest of the fine. Introducing the record-setting Alita Geisha 803. It's a unique coffee that comes from Panama. Which was auctioned off to buyers all over the world. Out of an available 100 pounds, Clatch Roasters owns the only 10 pounds in the entire country. So it's 80 cups for the entire United States. That's all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's so exclusive, even the baristas, who, by the way, trained 406 hours to work here, wanted to be extra careful preparing us the Alita Geisha 803. I was actually practicing with something completely different, just hoping that this would go good. So how does it taste? That is the big question. Here we go. This is probably at least $10 worth in this tiny little cup. It's good. It's very good. It tastes like fruit. It is. It's blueberry. I don't know. Whether or not I would spend $75 on this regularly, that's another thing. <laughs> but what would the average coffee drinker think of this $75 cup of joe? Wow, packs a punch. It's very smooth. Um, good taste. Not something I would probably pay $75 for. There is one thing you must absolutely not do to this exclusive drink. Would it be a crime to add cream and sugar to this? Yeah, absolutely. It would be a waste of $75. <laughs> In the end, the goal of this coffee? The objective is just to introduce people to some great coffee.